To successfully learn subnetting, you need a few tools in your tool belt. So let's start with the decimal number system. The decimal number system is base 10. It's based on powers of 10. And there's also 10 characters or 10 numerals, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So if we want to write the number 123,096, we put 1 in the 100,000th place. That means we have 1 100,000. We, have, we put 2 in the 10,000th place. That means we have 2 10,000s. 3 in the 1,000th place. That means we have 3 1,000s. We also put 9 in the 10s place, means we have 9 10s and 6 1s. So if we look at this, this is the 1s place, 10 to the 0, the 10s place, 10 to the 1, the 100s place, 10 to the 2. And then in long form, it means we have 1 times 100,000. We have 1 100,000 plus 2 10,000s plus 3 1,000s plus 9 10s plus six ones and we have the number 123,096. But it's based on powers of 10 starting with the ones place at 10 to the zero and there's 10 numerals. Now let's compare this with the binary number system. The binary number system is similar except instead of base 10 or based on powers of 10, it's based on powers of two. It's also base two meaning there's only two numerals, zero or one. So we start with the ones place, or two to the zero. Anything with the power of zero is one. Then the then two to the ones place, or the twos place. The fours place, two to the two. The eights place, two times two times two, or two to the third power. And then the sixteens place, the thirty twos place, sixty fours place, and one hundred twenty eights place. Now this is also eight bits, or eight binary digits. Or there's in this situation right here, we have eight place values. So if we want to write the number 188, in binary, it's 10111100. To write the number 188, we put 1 in the 128th place. Now we have 128. Put a 0 in the 64th place. We don't need a 64, but we do need a 32. So 1 goes in the 32's place. Now we have 128 plus 32. We have 160. 1 in the 16's place. 128 plus 32 plus 16, we have 176. Then we need an 8, a 4, that gives us 12 more, and we have 188. Or 128 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 gives us 188. 128, 160, 176, 184, 188. Okay. If we look at the hexadecimal number system, it's also similar, but instead of based on powers of 2 or based on powers of 10, it's based 16. There are 16 characters, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, and F. An A is a 10, a B is an 11, 12, 13, 14, and an F is a 15. So there's, there's 16 numerals starting at 0, ending at F. It's based on powers of 16, starting with 16 to the 0. This is the 1's place, the 16's place, the 256th place, the 4096th place, or 16 to the 3rd power, and so on. So if we want to write the number 188, we need 11, or B, 11 16's, or 11 times 16 plus 12 1's, which means 11 times 16 plus 12 times 1 equals 188. So in hex, 188 is BC. Oftentimes it's written as 0x, which indicates hex, BC. So BC in hex. Now that is 188. However, this is kind of difficult to do because you might not off the top of your head be able to know that 11 what 11 times 16 is. I, I can't do that. So there's a nice cheat for doing that. And that is hexadecimal to binary to decimal conversion. So with this conversion, what we do is we take the number 188 and we write it in binary first. So in binary, it's 128 plus 32, plus 16, plus 8, plus 4, like we had. So just write it out in binary, 8 bits, and then write 128 
plus 32, plus 16, plus 8, plus 4, and then divide it into two 4-bit nibbles. So I take this number here, I divide it into two pieces, and then it's easier to convert it into hex. In other words, a hex character, since it's 0 to 15 with a total of 16 values, can be anywhere from 0 to f, which is a 15, and that's the equivalent of four binary digits. So you take an 8 plus a 2 plus a 1 is an 11. 8 plus 2 plus 1 is an 11, which is a b. And then on this part right here, you have an 8 plus a 4, which is 12, which is a c. And so it's a lot easier to convert binary 8 bits into two 4-bit chunks to get two hexadecimal characters, because each hex character is the equivalent of four bits. If you had, let's say, 1111, you'd have an F. So let's try it one more time. In this case, we have the number 211. I quickly convert 211 into binary, which is 11010011, 128 plus 64, is 192 plus 16 is 208 plus 2 is 210 plus 1 is 211. We divide this into four bit nibbles or split into two nibbles 1101 right here and then 0011 and then we convert these to decimal an 8 plus a 4 plus a 1 is 13 a 2 and a 1 is a 3 so a 13 in hex is a D and a 3 is a 3, so in hexadecimal, this is D3. And so you've converted quickly from 211 in decimal to hexadecimal D3. Meanwhile, you've also converted it into binary. So now that we have that, the reason we need that for doing subnetting and IP addressing is that you're going to, to understand subnetting, I'm going to ask you to be able to convert IP addresses and subnet masks into binary.